Hey guys, it's Chocolate Fish here, and it is Question we Sunday. Keep on the ground. Can't stay in one place. Keep moving like a glitch. Okay, you might have guessed from these pictures that I was showing you that um, this uh, question. Sunday, I'm asking the question, why do humans keep pets? I mean, they're just at extra cost. I mean, really. So I'm just going to start off with a quick starter. Um, think about this. I really want you to think about this um, starting. Um, if an alien saw a human walking its dog in the park and observed the human cleaning up at the dog, who would the alien assume was in charge? The alien would probably assume that the dog was in charge because the human was taking care of it. I mean, really. So, um, I'm going to give you a quick history of pets so you know what we're talking about. Um, he, basically, pets, as you know, started out as wolves. Wolves were the first pets pretty much ever. The only other pets they would keep were sheep, and they would eventually eat them and or use their fur. So the wolves, basically, they would eat the leftover meat from the humans. They'd get closer and closer to the humans, and eventually, the humans, you know, they didn't like to waste anything. Uh, this is probably around the Native American things, and they didn't like to waste anything, so they liked these dogs. But if the dogs ever hurt the humans, even by a little nick, they would eat them and cook them. Um, things evolved from them, and we, you know, chose new pets and things like that. Um... So that's the history of pets. And once we have dogs mastered, you know, we started getting the cats in the mix as well. So, I have four theories prepared on why humans have pets. Theory number one. Oh, I'll just give you the titles of money. The first theory is money, protection, worship, and love. Um, the first theory is about money. Um, many people, especially in like the 1800s, thought if you have like a very well-groomed small cat or a very fluffy lap dog, then you had enough money to take care of another being, and you had enough money to take care of it. And it was kind of like a fashion symbol. Uh, it just gets attention. The second theory. Um, this goes back to the original reason why we had pets, and that was for protection and food. Um, the pets, they can provide protection. I mean, if you have a giant dog, it's certainly going to ward off intruders. Um, the third reason is worship. We like to be, if you give care of the pet, then they're going to worship you. They're going to treat you as if there is nothing else in the world but you. And they'll sleep next to you, and they'll meow at you. It's just, it's a wonderful relationship, and that's the reason why some have them, I guess. And then, the third, the fourth reason is love. Um, pets, they're just very fluffy, and they're very cute. For instance, if you saw a cat like this on the street, could you resist not at least taking a second glance at this? No, you cannot. You would have to look at it, pick it up, touch it, because it is so cute. Things are cute, and we like them that way. We like cute things that we can take care of. Cute things that'll worship us. Cute things that'll look like an ornament to us. These are the things that we like, that we love. This is what we strive for. I mean, even in our, I mean, even in our clothes, we want them to be fashionable. We want them to be soft. That's what these things are. They are fashion, and they are soft. We even make pet toys out of them. Look at this. We love them so much that if we can't even afford a dog, which is, this takes away a sign of money, if we have pets, these are pets too. Our stuffed animals are pets. They are things we keep. They are things we take care of. We wash them. We make sure they're okay. And then we started keeping different pets. Like, why in the world would someone say, I want to keep this rat and take care of it? Why? Why would you say, I want this rat? I want this rat to be my friend. No one says that. But why do people have mouse friends? For company, for love, for attention, for worshipment. That is why we have all of these animals. Some people have like tens of animals. 
these are animals and we love them and that is why we keep them. So let me ask, ask you that question one more time and we'll think about it during the music. If an alien saw a human walking its dog in the park and observed the human cleaning up after the dog, who would the alien assume was in charge? Thanks for watching. Turn the lights down now. Now I'll shake you by the hand. And do another drink. Shake it if you can. Can you spend a little time? Time to live it away. Get a muscle shake. Shake me, I can make. Make you glad you came.